Hey guys, it's me, Shani, and today I'm going to be doing my Best of Beauty 2022, where I show you my favorite products of the year, favorite, I have a favorite record, favorite skincare, favorite makeup products, favorite vintage products like makeup and perfume, so many things I am excited to mention in here, and I'm going to be doing this video a little bit different. I'm going to be um, doing a full face get ready with me, you know, showing all of the products that are my favorite. So if you want to see how I got this look and what were my favorite products of the year 2022, then just keep on watching. All right, let's get into the full face of my favorite products this year. So I started out with the Bright Balance. Um, this is the Bigger Than Beauty skincare from Thrive Cosmetics, the Bright Balance 3-in-1 Cleanser. I love this stuff. The smell of it is so good. I can't even explain it. It's so dirty because I've been using it and I, it, I just, I feel like it just gets dirty, the packaging, but love this product. It is such a good cleanser. It really removes all makeup. Today I didn't need it to remove makeup, obviously, but at the end of the night it definitely takes off makeup really well and doesn't irritate my eyes. I also used the e.l.f. Skin um, Daily Moisturizer, and this is the Holy Hydration. This is so good. I loved their previous Daily Moisturizer. This one is kind of a new packaging, maybe a new formula, but still an amazing product. So I did go in with that as well. And then next, I'm gonna use the Thrive Cosmetics sunproof priming sunscreen they came out with this this year and it is really nice it's spf i don't know if it's focusing it's spf 37 and it is kind of supposed to be a primer and a sunscreen in one so that's really nice i like the way it feels and i wear it without you know foundation sometimes like in the summer I just put it on put on mascara and I was good to go but you can also wear it under makeup too so such a favorite here and that was really it with skincare I think let me see but I did also fill in my brows so I used the Serena I have a lot of Thrive Cosmetics in this video. I just have tried a lot of their products and really love them. The Brow Liner in Serena and the um, Instant Brow Fix Brow Gel is what I use today. And these are definitely brow favorites, but the Tresteague Brow Liner and um, Gel I really love as well. I just ran out of that, but... Yeah, those are some favorite brow products of the year. And so the Pretty Vulgar Eyeshadow Base here. It doesn't even have any words on here because I've used it so much that it's literally coming, like everything's off of the packaging, all of the wording that used to be there. But this product I've used for literally two years now, I think. But I'm just going to start with this all over the eye as my eye base. And we're going to do something a little bit different for eyeshadow just because I have a whole separate video on ranking my favorite eyeshadow palettes or ranking all the palettes I tried this year for eyeshadow. I'm going to use um, some eyeshadow sticks. So to kind of do something different, but I do really enjoy this pretty vulgar eyeshadow base. It's what I've been using literally all year. And then, and it, there's still some left. It's crazy. So for eyeshadow, I'm going to go in with the Infinity Waterproof Eyeshadow Sticks from Thrive Cosmetics. I've just really been enjoying these. It's specifically, my favorites are the Shiny Joe Caramel Matte Shade and the Nikki blush gold shimmer shade so we're going to start with shaney joe and these do set down really really quick so i'm going to have to focus here but oh i dropped the cap but i'm going to start kind of i kind of want it on the eyelid a little bit too but yeah these are super waterproof which is nice
I just find that it is a really pretty crease color and it just is, you know, not too dark but not too light either for my skin tone. But yeah, so it slides on really easy. You just have to be careful because it sets down. But love this formula. And then we're going to go to the Nikki shade. And it looks a little dirty because I use it so much. We're going to just take that onto the lid. So when I'm not doing, you know, full-blown eyeshadow looks, I'm using these a lot of the time just because they're so easy to apply real quick and then you're out the door and it's just super fast and simple. And then I also love their Brilliant Eye Brighteners. I'll take a little bit of Stella, the Champagne Shimmer. I love this shade for just kind of highlighting the inner corners of the eyes. And we have a nice eye look. So next I'm going to quickly take a a cream shade here this is their perfect eye palette that I was using as a mirror but I figured why not I like to kind of smooth out up above and then if I want some liquid liner I know another five cosmetics product I'm telling you they have amazing products this is their liquid eyeliner I promise there's a lot of other brands too that I'm going to talk about, but we're going to add this. I don't always add it all the way through because I don't know if you necessarily have to. This is kind of how I like to do my liquid liner. But that is really it for the eyes. We're going to add mascara in a little bit. But let's go into my face products. So for primer, I kind of already added primer with this product here, the sunscreen. But... Ooh, but I think another favorite I have to mention from this year is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. So we're just going to add a little bit of this to the T-zone. Great product from the drugstore. As for foundation, the product I wanted to mention as the best product I tried or something I've really been enjoying this year is the Fenty Beauty um, Skin Tint and I have number three of my as my shade and it's just so nice and lightweight. I'm just putting some on my hand. It's so nice and lightweight but it's just so pretty as well. I don't know. I just love the coverage it gives me like it definitely gives me coverage but it's so lightweight and nice so I love it as for tools I don't have too many new favorites one thing I wanted to mention is this little it's the brand sweet and shimmer from Ulta and it is just this little heart that you can kind of um clean your brushes temporarily with and then it has a little groove side I've been loving this this year to clean my makeup brushes just temporarily before I like deep clean them. That's definitely a tool favorite. Um, but as for like sponges like this and stuff, I don't know. And brushes, I feel like I don't have too many new favorites as of this year. Like I feel like I'm using the same brushes I've talked about on my channel before. That leads me also to mention to definitely take a look at my previous videos that I've made talking about my favorites because some of my favorites from, you know, 2020, 2021 definitely are still favorites. Like I definitely, you know, would recommend watching that vid those videos too just because I'm trying to talk about new stuff I tried. Also, I was wearing my glasses all day, so that's why <laughs> I have like an indent. 
So that is it for the skin tint. Really love this product. Next, I'm going to go in with my best Kareem bronzer of the year. It is the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer, and this is in the shade Tan Lines, and it's just such a good product. I really enjoy it. It's just a nice color, and it's a nice formula, and again, really affordable. I also applied my Essence Lip Care little um, lip serum before this, before I started filming, and that is a fun, like, I don't know, in the morning, I really enjoy this product. It is a good one that I tried out this year. Then we have, um, for cream blush, I went back and forth, but I think it just has to be my Laura Geller eye lip and cheek palette i love the blush and bronzer in here but i'm going to go ahead and use the blush today i have a few different cream blush favorites i guess but really this is the one that i just keep going back to as for concealer this is definitely the one that takes the cake for this year. It is the Buildable Blur Creases Concealer in Light Cool from Thrive Cosmetics. I'm just going to dab a little bit underneath here and then use my fingers to blend. It's just so creamy and it doesn't crease really. It's just really, really nice and it doesn't like cake up or anything. And then for my powders, the Pat McGrath, what is this called? The light, the shade is light, but it is the Skin Fetish um, Blurring Under Eye Powder. It is a mess to deal with. Like I cracked, somehow it, it it's just very fragile and it cracked and it is, you know just I could never travel with it it's like very messy now that it's all over the place and <laughs> broken kind of but it is a great under eye powder like so nice it's just really nice and smooth and I think it's definitely because of this combination here okay next is powder so I talked about the Pat McGrath one for under the eyes but the Milk Makeup Blur and Set, I've heard this is discontinued maybe or is being discontinued, but I absolutely love it. This has been my absolute favorite lately and the whole year really. So I'm going to use that to set the rest of my face. Another honorable mention is the Thrive Cosmetics Loose Powder. Powder, it is super, super great as well. Um, very you know, just set the makeup that lasts all day. Really nice um, formula there. But I'm going to use the milk one. I want to mention too that I feel like you know, I, I should state that um, not all of these products came out this year. It's just products I tried this year. Some of them did come out this year, but not all of them. Some of them are older, like the Fenty Skin Tint, I think, was not this year. I think it was before, maybe last year, um, those types of things. But just products that I tried this year and what I love. I love how this powder also, like, kind of blurs a little bit. Like, it just it's just nice. Uh, alright, so next, let's go back to the eyes. I'm going to go ahead and take the Shaney Joe, um, eyeshadow stick and just connect to the lower lash line. And then I'm going to also take my favorite eyeliner this is not even my favorite eyeliner it's just the eyeliner I've been using all year 
I don't use black eyeliner as much anymore or just, I don't know, I just haven't been using eyeliner in general as much, pencil eyeliner. So this is the Molly, um, or Mally Ox, so it's like the black color, but it is a really nice, um, pencil eyeliner if you're looking for a black one. I got this from a boxy charm, so it's just kind of what I have, but it is still good. Then we're gonna curl our lashes with the Thrive Cosmetics Lash Curler, my absolute favorite lash curler. And then for mascara, I wanted to use our this boxy charm thing that I got as well. It is the Blink Ultra Volume Tubing Mascara. And this is really nice. Tubing mascara in general is something I really love. But this is a great uh, mascara here. And I wanted to mention too that if you haven't watched my favorites videos, I do have, you know, this is the best of beauty 2022. But all of the year I do every month, I usually come out with a favorites video. So if you want to learn more about some of these products or see other favorites I had of the year, maybe they didn't make the cut for this video, but they were still favorites, you can definitely go back and watch those. I talk about all sorts of things in those videos, like even music and stuff. Look at that length, oh my gosh. Also, I know I talked about the Fenty, but the Buildable Blur CC Cream from Thrive Cosmetics, they came out with a new relaunch. You know, they relaunched this product, and this is also a favorite. I, I wear 140 Light Neutral, if you were wondering. Okay, so next we're going to go with Powder Bronzer, and I had to choose my Marc Jacobs Tantastic Omega Bronze. I might have even mentioned this last year in last year's favorites but i just have to and this is different than last year's favorites just because i am trying on all the products instead of just like showing them so let me know if you like that form better of just instead of just like holding it up i'm showing the application of it love this bronzer it's just the perfect shade for me and it's just really nice and blendable. As for blush, I had a little bit of trouble, but I went with, this isn't from this year either. It's, I think I got this a few years ago, but it is the T Rose Milani, what do they call this? Their powder, just their powder blush. And I just had to, I had to pick this one. It's just the perfect like bright pink without being too bright and I love the like rose detailing of it I am going more like on the nose with my blush when I used to avoid the nose with blush but I like that look lately the highlight I chose I think Ofra Star Island is still my favorite overall but this year highlights I tried I really enjoyed the Essence Pure Nude highlighter and be my highlight so we're gonna wear this shade today and it's very natural like I maybe I'm going more natural with my makeup I swear <laughs> but it's just a nice glowy highlight but nothing too like shimmery or sparkly it's more gleamy I guess as for lip products, I'm going to go in with my Ace Beauté Lip Liner in B Peachy. I wear this all the time. I just feel like I have to mention it because it is so good. It's just a really nice like nude lip liner that kind of goes with everything. Here's what it looks like alone. It goes kind of nice with my sweater. Love this lip liner. And then I have a few different options for um, lip products to go on top. But I don't think I'm going to wear this today. But I wanted to mention it as a, 
as a favorite of the year. The Rare Beauty Courage. I think this is the matte lip cream. I love the formula. It's very like whipped. Like the way it is. It's very comfortable on the lips. Here is the shade and it matches the bottle so you can kind of see what the shade is. So, so pretty and a really cool formula. I then have two favorites from Thrive Cosmetics. This one I'm not going to wear today, but it is the Melissa Sheer Strength Hydrating Lip Tint. These are so amazing. It looks like it's a bold color, but really on the lips it's very minimal and just kind of like your lips but better. It gives you a little bit of a color, but nothing crazy. It's like a pinky nude shade. Love this so much. You'll I'm wearing this in like a ton of my videos this year, but same with this. This is the Thrive Cosmetics Headliner Lipstick in Eileen. This is just the perfect pink for me. It's just gorgeous. It's called a pink taupe shade. Love this so much. I mean, now it looks more peachy because of the lip liner, but really pretty on its own too. And then... Lastly, for lip products, this is such a favorite from this year, the uh, Tarte Maracuja Lip Plump, or yes, Juicy Lip Plump, and this is in Peachy Beige, so we're going to put this on top. Now this gives a little bit of a tingle to the lips. This is so good. It smells like coconut. Oh my gosh love this. this lives in my purse i had to go get it from my purse so that's how you know wow so we completed the look i hope you guys enjoyed learning my favorite products i do have more to come so we're gonna go over some other things but this is the final look of my favorite beauty product the best of beauty in 2022 I forgot to mention that the Burt's Bees Rose Lip Balm, it's like a tinted lip balm that is also a favorite of the year. So I also just wanted to talk about some book favorites, some vintage makeup favorites, hair favorites. I just have a few more things to talk about. But before we do, some new brands I tried this year were Rare Beauty, which is this here was a favorite um the ordinary sigma beauty rem beauty and glossier oh and merit beauty so some of the other ones i've tried more recently so we'll it'll be interesting to see if any of those brands products make it to my next year's favorites but those are some brands i tried out this year i started vlogging this year i kind of started doing different videos i am enjoying that so that's something fun i i really have enjoyed taking baths this year i know that sounds so silly but i feel like i was like more shower all the way and now i'm just a little more i just enjoy you know taking a relaxing bath with some bubble bath and watching a movie or something watching a show while i'm in the bath so that's a random favorite my makeup room is a favorite definitely i love this space i have here to film to do my makeup it's also an office but i really love this definitely such a fun part of this year and then we can get into hair favorites so I really just wanted to mention, oh, as I drop it, the Native Hair Moisturizing Shampoo and Conditioner. Here they are right here. And they're just really nice, very moisturizing like they say, but they also have like only 10 ingredients in it, which is super nice. Um, so they're just really nice for the hair and they smell so good. These are the coconut and vanilla ones. We have some makeup eraser, the Disney Princess version. These were a gift and I absolutely loved these all year. These really help get my makeup off and they're cute while doing so, so that's amazing. We have some, I guess I'll start with vintage perfumes. The same person that gave me this lovely gift also gave me this Avon Carriage little... Uh, perfume bottle how thinking cute is this it is so adorable i absolutely love it it is the 
Ocur cologne and it looks like a little Cinderella carriage. Such a favorite. We have this Avon Small World little doll here and it, you just like go like this and it was actually, I'm sorry, it wasn't perfume, it was a bubble bath. But I started collecting these. I have three of these. This is, I think, my favorite just because of the purple little dress. But so cute. I love Avon. These Avon products are just so cool and creative. And then I also found this, I think it was Risley is the brand, Pink Coral Cologne this year. And I think the bottle is just gorgeous with the like circular, circular top and the shell look of it. So cool. And then I wanted to share my lipstick holder from Florenza. It is, has these gorgeous little pearl gems and then these pink gems here. It is just so pretty and I got this for like $5. Usually I display it this way, but like how cute, like look at this. This was such a find this year. I can't even believe it. It's one of my favorite things on my bookshelf. Then we have this Mary Dunhill compact that my mom actually got me. It is pink and it has this cute little gem on it. And it is both powder and blush. So the blush is up here and the powder is down here. One of my absolute favorites. I got this Mother of Pearl carry-all compact, which is so pretty. And this has a the original lipstick in it, the uh, powder, and then a comb as well is in there. So it just, it would have been so convenient. And it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. So happy I found that. I have a pink pearl Q-Tex little nail polish and this was my very first this is my only and very first um nail polish vintage nail polish so I just think the packaging is so cute it's just adorable and then we have this super sweet gift it is a this is the mirror part but it is a lipstick holder from the 50s and it has a vintage Revlon Fire and Ice lipstick inside. I love Revlon lipsticks, um, you know, vintage ones. So this is a cool find for sure. And you would open it and just kind of do your lipstick while looking in here. And so that is it for vintage makeup and perfume. Those were just some of my favorites of the year. I, I just love collecting. So those are some that I really am glad I found this year. I also found some vintage gloves that fit me perfectly. And I think they, they're just so cute. So these are really nice. I wanted to mention these. For like three bucks I think so a lot of them I didn't spend too too much on some of them I maybe did but as for books I have this red lipstick book I want to do a whole video maybe on books but this is super cool it's all about red lipstick and there's so many fun pictures and just cool facts in here this was also favorite the compacts um, encyclopedia for carryalls and face powder boxes this is volume two really love this there's a lot of cool pictures in here and it just really helped me as a collector learn more and lastly we have classic beauty from gabriella hernandez i think it's how you pronounce it she's the creator of Bessemer Cosmetics, which is super cool, and this has the most makeup history. This is similar to Face Paint by Lisa Eldridge. If you like that, you'll like this. It's just so good. So those are three of my favorite books. Those are my favorite books of the year, I would say, that I read this year. And lastly, I think, is this record. I love records, and this vintage one is the original Cinderella or the 1950s one at least and it's probably one of my oldest records 
but I love the sound of it. It's almost a little like crinkly on as it plays and it's just so old timey and I love the songs. It's just amazing. So this is also a favorite that I found this year or that I actually ordered I think on Macari. And yes, yeah, so let me just make sure I think that was it. Yep, that was everything. Wow, I hope you guys enjoyed this crazy video. It was so fun to do my makeup with my favorite products and then share some more favorite products of the year. I am so excited for 2023. I think it'll be a great year, but I'm so thankful for this year. I think it was a really fun, um, fun time. I really enjoyed all of the things I talked about today. I enjoy reflecting on the year not just materialistic things but just in general the memories made i think it's really important to reflect i would love to know what products and what memories you know anything you'd like to share that are your favorites of the year 2022 and this is the last video that i'm going to film in 2022 i believe so um it's just crazy that the next time i'll film is 2023 I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you next time. Bye.